Wake the fuck up, samurai. We have a city to burn. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and today in this video we are going to be talking about Cyberpunk 2077 E3 private demo. A demo that was only shown to the media and is not available in public. So the demo opens up with the introduction of Johnny Silverhand played by Keanu Reeves who appears as a virtual ghost visible only to the player. Johnny has actually convinced the player character to help find his girlfriend Alt Cunningham. And the next piece of the puzzle is a linking up with the woman. She is a leader within the Voodoo Boys, a canonical faction from Mike Pondsmith's original tabletop RPG, Cyberpunk 2020. Standing in the way are the animals, a faction of muscular bodybuilders who modify their bodies with illegal drugs rather than physical augmentations. The Voodoo Boys are hated and spiritualist whose unique form of worship involves hacking and trips through cyberspace. They have a passion for black leathered and powerful computers and are well respected all throughout the Pacifica neighborhood. Driving mechanics played a central part in this year's Cyberpunk 2077 demo. It actually showed the player hopping on a boat, a futuristic motorcycle and driving through the game's open world from location to location. The meat of the demo focused on an infiltrating mission where the player had to sneak into a building controlled by the animals and at first the demo showed how a Netrunner, a character class able to hack into any electronic system in the game could exploit the environment to gain an advantage by turning off security cameras and zooming in. With their superhuman hearing, it was fairly easy to gain an entry to the compound. What was surprising was just how effective the Netrunner class was at combat. The main weapon used during the demo was called a nanowire, a thin length of neon orange cable. At close range, the nanowire worked like a whip, easily severing heads. In one dramatic encounter, a muscle-bound melee fighter lunged at the player who quickly looped off their arm mid-punch. So, so far, the nanowire is the strongest weapon you can find in the game. But the nanowire isn't just for the combat. It can also be used to gain access to people's mind at close range. Since body modification is prominent, hacking people is no more difficult for a netrunner than hacking a computer. Once inside the mind of a group leader, the players had easily access to cybernetics implants of everyone underneath them. What followed was a grisly series of suicide as the player took control of enemies and forced them to detonate hand grenades or shoot themselves in the head. CD Projekt Red also ran the same mission with a more combat focused build. With super strength, the player was able to rip open locked doors with her bare hands pull mounted weapon off turrets and turn them on the enemy and mow down wave after wave with sustained automatic weapon rifles. In motion, the combat focused build made the game feel more clumsy. Something a bit like Division 2 if played in the first person. The enemy AI for its part was having a quite a bit trouble keeping up. Many times during the demo, they appeared to be getting stuck in the environment, melee swinging wildly at nothing at all. As it stands right now, the more dynamic improvisation and frankly interesting way to play Cyberpunk 2077 seems to be as a netrunner. Of course, CD Projekt Red explained that fixed character classes aren't really a thing in the Cyberpunk 2077. With its system, players are able to mix and match abilities from many different combat styles to create highly personalized characters. At the core of the experience will be traditional tabletop skills with stats representing reflexive school technical abilities, body and intelligence serving as the baseline for the character creation. So guys, that was all shown behind doors at E3 2019. This was the media demo we all have been shown and let me know in the comment section what you guys think about it. Cyberpunk 2077 will be released on April 16, 2020 for PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC. Thank you guys for watching and I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.